we can at this point say a bit more about the geometry of the cross product vector of u cross v. Specifically, the length of u cross v can be expressed in terms of the length of u, the length of v, and the sine of the angle between those two vectors in the u v plane. This is similar to what we saw with the dot product formula. Remember that one? Oh, but this has a bit more geometric meaning. This length of u cross v, this uh, length of u, length of v sine theta, is also the area of the parallelogram that is spanned by those two vectors. Now, you might want to uh, have a little bit of fun trying to prove that this is exactly what the area is. That's a fun little geometry problem. But I very strongly recommend uh, using this formula to bolster your intuition for what the cross product vector really looks like. We know it's orthogonal to that UV plane, but now its, um, its length and its direction both have geometric meaning. The cross product and the dot product are great for representing some classical distance formulae in 3D. We looked at a, a simple example earlier, the distance from a point P to a line. Let's say that line is expressed in terms of a point Q on that line, and the line is parallel to some vector V. Then that orthogonal distance can be expressed very compactly using the cross product of the vector QP with the vector V. If you take the length of that cross product and normalize by the length of V, or uh, you could forget that altogether if V was a unit vector, then that length of that cross product normalized is the distance from the point to the line. Wow, that's a really simple expression. And likewise, if you want to know the distance from a point P to a plane that passes through a point Q and is uh, orthogonal to a vector n, then it's basically the same formula, but you're using the absolute value of the dot product of QP with n instead of the cross product. Again, you normalize by the length of n. Now, neither of these formulae is really uh, central to the great story of calculus. I merely include these to show what an efficient language dot products and cross products are in distance formulae.